welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. This time I'm going to talk about the Find and Replace function. You're able to quickly swap an existing item in a cell with another item by selecting the item and hitting Ctrl F. Using the Find and Replace function is quite helpful for adding some variety to your areas, since there are often alternative tiles that also fit the desired location. Just select an object and click Ctrl F. Then select an alternative object from the drop-down menu. There are many options, so it's good to have an idea of what you'd like to use first. This will come with experience, but you can also find something by trial and error. There are a few advanced options with the Find and Replace window. You can find and replace everything that matches the search term with a new tile in the currently loaded cell, or in the entire world. This can help with fixing large problems that would be too tedious to correct individually. For example, if I wanted to replace every Farm B Wall 02 tile with a Farm B Wall Entrance 02 tile, and I wanted to make sure that all of those tiles in this entire cell were replaced, I would check Current Cell Only and hit OK. As you can see, I now have a wall full of doors. On a side note, the Undo function, Control Z, does not undo Find and Replace changes. You have to manually reverse the changes if you don't like the outcome. You can also unrestrict the base type requirement by unchecking the same base object type only checkbox. This would allow you to replace a wall with a potion or a wall with some smoke effects or any other object that's in the game. You should use this with caution, especially when applying it to an entire cell or to the world. Lastly, you should notice that there's a wildcard replace tab. This tab will let you use an asterisk to replace anything with that phrase in its name with the desired object. You could use this to replace Farm B Wall 01, Farm B Wall 02, Farm B Wall 03, Farm B Wall 04 objects with Farm B Wall entrance objects. All you would have to do is replace the numbers at the end with an asterisk and apply it to the current cell. This will bring up a confirmation window and it will just show you what is going to be replaced. It will try and replace the numbers of the found form with, an, with numbers of the replaced form in order to keep the same rotation. Now, as you can see, I have an entire basement full of doors. This is generally more useful for clutter objects, which we'll talk about in the next chapter. Thanks for watching.